Although I look pretty strange here, I'm not wearing my beautiful dress. Oh no. Unfortunately, we got up in a not very good place. Seriously? All this time we could use the boosts that were in our inventory? Oh my god! We are running at great speed! To find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, three, two, one. <laughs> There's a puking Pomni here today! Hello, everyone, friends! Today, we will escape from the prison of the Candy Kingdom. We have already played the same game, and I hope that this game will be better than the previous one. By the way, look here for a pretty funny pink glowing platform. Yes, I really like the design of this game. Everything looks very beautiful here. I really like the fact that confetti is falling from the sky here. I've never seen this in any game before. Okay now. We'll go down into this vent and meet me. By the way, look, and here I am. Although I look pretty strange here, I'm not wearing my beautiful dress. Yes. It seems to me that it would really be much better if you were here in a dress. But for some reason, the developers decided not to add it. What? Let's move on. They even added confetti here. This looks really very cool. I really like the way the developers have put a lot of effort into the design here. This location really looks like this room is in some kind of candy kingdom. Well, now we are going to the room with toilets. I hope that everything will be changed next too. Why does this room with toilets look like the room in Barry's original prison break? It seems to me that the developers should have tried a little harder to change it. They didn't even change the dungeon. I hope that some changes await us next, because for now we are playing the most ordinary Barry prison escape. After the location with the first boss, literally nothing was changed here. It seems to me that this just looks like some kind of bug because it's quite strange that they didn't change anything further. Well, now we need to pass the test, where we need to jump over the spikes, and we will go to the corridor with the rolling boulder. By the way, they didn't change it either, so maybe there will be some changes in the boss room. In general, this is quite strange. It seemed to me that in this game we would really escape from the Candy Kingdom, but it looks like we were slightly deceived here. The developers of this game really need to work a little more on optimizing this game because everything here looks quite strange. Seriously? Regular boss night? Okay, I think that here the developers really didn't change absolutely anything. Even the character models in the second location with the boss. It is very sad. I still have hope that there will be some changes in this game besides the first location. And for this we now need to climb this tower with dilapidated steps and move on so that we can find something else. I really hope that this game will not disappoint us even more. At least here, we really didn't find a single change, except the first location. Why didn't they at least add confetti here? Oh my god, everything here also looks the same as in Barry's usual prison escape. Okay, now we'll do our favorite race with an energy drink so we can go further. I like this task in absolutely any design because it's really very cool. Yes, it would be very cool if we could actually go through the entire game at the same speed as here. I would really be more happy than now, but unfortunately, most likely the developers did not give us such an opportunity. Well, now that we have passed this test, we need to pass the test with the stairs, and I have less and less hope that there will be any other changes in this game. They haven't added anything new even here! This makes me very sad! But in any case, Jax copes with this game quite quickly because it's only 2.20 seconds, and we've already reached the challenge where we need to jump on a bridge where a fan blows us away. You forgot to add that this task also remained without any changes. I wish they could at least add colorful spikes at the bottom, but unfortunately no. Well, we can only run forward and hope that there will be at least something new ahead in this game. Now we need to climb up these pipes, and then the same boring task with fans that I just hate awaits us. I hope that I can complete it as quickly as possible without falling down even once. Even if they changed the location of the valves even a little in this test, I would forgive them for not changing the design in any way in the other locations. But unfortunately, the location of the valves here remains the same, and therefore all we can do is just pass this test and move on trying to set a new record here. And now we have a race ahead with fans and thank god they haven't changed the distance between the platforms. It remained large, and thanks to this, we need to complete this task a little more difficult because in some locations the game developers leave too short a distance between the platforms. And because of this, we don't even need to press the space button to jump from one platform to another. Now we need to make a jump into this wind tunnel and we will go to the next boss cook. 
I really hope they change it at least a little. I really hope so too. Otherwise, we'll just have to hope for the final boss. Oh, by the way, look! This is the most ordinary boss, Harry Chief. Well, let's go to the bazooka, take it, and try to pass this test as quickly as possible. Actually, this is not a bazooka, but a food zooka. Well, we got it, and let's defeat this boss as soon as possible. By the way, I really hope that there is a bug here due to which, when the boss explodes, we can be pushed straight onto the slide. Now we will check it. But to do this, we need to kill him right in front of this slide. Hooray! We defeated him, and... Oh, no. Unfortunately, we got up in a not very good place. And because of this, we were pushed in a completely different direction. Well, then let's go down this hill on our own. I really hoped that they would push us out, and thanks to this, we would reduce the time it takes to complete this game. But unfortunately, this did not happen. Well, now let's move on. We only have two challenges left before meeting the final boss. Wait, what? No, don't tell me we could... Seriously? All this time we could use the boosts that were in our inventory? Oh my god! In this case, we could complete this game much faster. Well then, I suggest using these boosts after we pass the test with lasers. This is the first game in which we can use boosts during the game absolutely free. This means that in the bridge test we can just use the jetpack and fly across it all. Well, okay. Let's do it then. I think we should use the jetpack and we can go further straight to the next boss. It turns out that this mode was actually very cool due to the fact that we could use boosts. See here. Yes, unfortunately, this is the most ordinary mechanical boss, Bari, but we can fly around him and use superpower. And unfortunately, we can't fly on a jetpack and fight against it at the same time, so let's first defeat this bugged boss. Then we'll use our boosts. I still can't believe that we really didn't use our boosts before this. We could have ended up at the location with the final boss two minutes after we started this game. Okay, we defeated this boss. Now let's use the boosts and fly away from here. Seriously? Can we use a jetpack to fly over this fence? Wow! We still have God Mode! Let's take advantage! Oh my God! We are running at great speed! We can run as fast as in a race with energy drinks! This is very cool! We can even adjust the jump force! height and speed here. But unfortunately, we noticed it too late. Well, if you write in the comments that you want us to go through the entire game using God Mode, then we will go through this game again with all possible boosts. In fact, unfortunately, the design of this game was practically not changed, but we were given the opportunity to take advantage of all the boosts. Now let's move on to the next game. Haha, <laughs> now these noobs will be left without potatoes. You know, I even like the fact that he's coming with us. He's a funny guy. Cool! Now we have a glowing taco! To find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, three, two, one. <laughs> There's a puking Pomni here today! Hello everyone, friends. Today we will play Endless Elevator again. Is this the same game in which we need to ride the elevator, get to different floors, and get different loot for it? Yes, it is! And by the way, today we are playing with the Jack skin. Well, let's try to get all the items that are possible to get in this game. And here is the first floor. Let's see what kind of location this is. Oh, this is the same location where we need to run as quickly as possible and get the potatoes. Great! We were able to take both potatoes and not leave any potatoes to other players. Haha, <laughs> now these noobs will be left without potatoes, but we have two of them. And by the way, they are talking. I did not know it. Okay, we leave this floor as a winner, and now we will go to the next floor. So far, everything is going pretty well. And here is the next floor. Now we find out what awaits us here. Oh, this is the floor with the falling ducks. Okay, now we need to concentrate as much as possible in order to find the glowing duck and pick it up. And here she is. Look, great. We got a glowing duck. And here is the second one. Let's quickly run to it. Great. We got two glowing ducks on this floor. This is the second floor in a row in which we get two loots. Listen. It seems to me that this time we will be able to pick up loot on all floors on which it is possible. And the next floor awaits us ahead. Oh look, this is the floor with falling pillows with Pomni painted on them. This is very strange, but I hope that among these pillows there will be a glowing Pomni pillow that we can pick up. It looks like we were slightly crushed by a pillow. But it's good that these pillows are not capable of killing us, otherwise we would have to lose all the loot that we earned. Unfortunately, it seems to me that we won't be able to pick up a glowing pillow here because they simply aren't here. 
And here is the next floor. Let's see what awaits us here. Oh no, this is TV Man, and now we can't get to his location. It looks like he wants to kill us. We need to do everything to prevent him from doing this. It's very strange that we can't get inside, because before this, we always managed to do it. Well, let's see what he's trying to tell us. Oh no, he released some kind of force wave and killed two players. It's good that we noticed her and managed to run to the side. Okay, looks like now this TV man wants to ride in the elevator with us. You know, I even like the fact that he's coming with us. He's a funny guy. Oh no, this is the same obby that I only managed to complete once. Well now, we need to be as concentrated as possible because we have too much loot that we can lose here if we don't go all the way to the top and drown. Okay, I'm extremely concentrated and I need to do this. Come on, Jax. Concentrate as much as possible on this because we need to get to the very top now. I really hope that we can get a trophy for completely completing this location because now we have quite a lot of loot and I hope that we won't stop there. Okay, we've almost reached the hardest part of this game. Well, let's try to jump over now. Oh no, Jax, you fell down. Seriously? Lord, now we will lose all the loot that we have been farming all this time. Okay, looks like we'll have to start over. I hate this floor as much as possible because I only managed to complete it once in the entire time we've been playing this game. It's really too complicated. Oh, look. Looks like there's some kind of lucky block here. Let's use it. Oh, we got something. Now let's go further into the elevator. Look, we got a magic carpet in this lucky block. Great. Now we can fly in various challenges. Oh, what kind of music is this? Looks like this guy down at lucky block got his hands on this speaker. Okay. I want to fly as far away from this song as possible because he irritates me very much. There in the distance, there is some very large location on which some buildings are located. I think we should try to fly to her. Maybe we'll get something interesting when we get there. We've been flying for a very long time, and I really hope that the game doesn't decide to teleport us serious as possible? Okay, we're in the elevator again. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get there. Well, let's move on then. Maybe in the next tests we can get something interesting with this airplane carpet. I really hope that we can get some loot at this location. Oh my god! This is the location with the falling tacos. Just like it's sung in the song by that guy with the speaker. Well, let's fly and try to catch the glowing taco. Here's one of them! Cool! Now we have a glowing taco! Finally, I'm not so sad after we lost all the loot we earned before. Well, I guess we shouldn't try to catch the next taco. Let's just go to the next floor. And here is the next floor. I hope it will lead us to some interesting location. Oh no, this is the floor with noobs who ran into our elevator. Well, unfortunately we won't get any loot here because these are just noobs. Okay, let's just wait until this wave ends and they all leave here. The doors are starting to close. Finally, we will be left here without them. Oh no, it seems that one noob still remains here with us, and he will run around and pester all players with requests to play with him or add him as a friend. I think we need to use our magic carpet and fly up to the ceiling so it doesn't get to us. And here is the next floor. I wonder what will happen here. Oh no, it's a guy with a pumpkin on his head and an ax. It is advisable for us to move away from this door because he can become aggressive and kill all players who are near the elevator door. But unfortunately, there are many players here who do not know about this, and they stand close to this exit. He seems to be friendly and even wants to go further with us. By the way, where is TV Man who was traveling with us? It looks like now this guy will be riding with us instead of him. I am not against that. And here is the next floor. We finally got there. Oh no, this is an arena with a skeleton that is trying to kill all the players. Look, all the other players run out onto his floor and start fighting him. I think this is not a good idea because this guy is really very aggressive. It's good that we have a magic carpet with which we can fly around and just watch other players fight with it, but I would never in my life go inside there. Okay, these gladiatorial fights are pretty fun, but now we should move on to the next floor. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play Endless Elevator again. Endless Elevator? Okay. I've seen quite a lot of illogical games in Roblox, but this game seems to me the most illogical. Tell me what we need to do here. To be honest, I'm already tired of explaining to him the rules of every new game. Maybe he should just watch some of our old videos. Maybe you should just stop being so rude and just explain the rules. 
Let me do it better. Here we ride in the elevator and every time we find ourselves on a random floor in which new challenges await us. Here we need to go through Obby. Look, some players have already reached the end. I wonder what we will get for completing this Obby. Now we will find out. Look, we have a trophy in our inventory. This is some kind of blue cup. Okay, and this is the first item we got in this game. Okay, I realize that in addition to passing all sorts of tests, we will also receive items for this. Okay, I'm wondering what else we'll get. Looks like we've arrived at the next floor. Let's see what... Oh no, don't tell me our elevator is broken. I hope that no evil creature will appear here now. Maybe you should just stop being afraid of various creatures in Roblox. They won't jump out at you through the screen and eat you. Maybe someone will come and fix the elevator? Oh, looks like the elevator is working again. Great, let's go to the next floor. I'm already impatient and I really want to see new challenges. Oh, look! It looks like this is a busy road where we will need to cross it without getting hit by cars. It looks like someone has already been shot down! By the way, kids, be sure to remember that you cannot cross the road in the wrong places. Be sure to cross the road only where there are pedestrian crossings. Jax, let me ask. How long ago did you decide to give some individual advice instead of telling your idiotic jokes? What should I have said? Something like, Guys, please jump in front of all the cars you see, or something like that? I don't quite understand what you wanted to hear from me. Maybe let's stop being boring. By the way, we passed this test and we didn't get anything other than an achievement. Well, okay. This floor was quite educational, but unfortunately there were no prizes. I like this mode with elevators much more than the ones we played before. Because here we have to go through more difficult tests. And I love difficulties. I also like difficulties, especially watching how someone overcomes them. Okay, let's just see what challenge awaits us next. Oh my god, what's happening? Why did we end up on the roof of the plane? Look, there are some clouds in the distance. How did we even end up here? Okay, let's walk down this plane and try not to touch any of these clouds. I just wanted to say that this is as illogical as possible, because we should have been thrown out of this plane by a stream of air. But I forgot that. This is Roblox and there is no logic in it. Yes, yes, that's exactly what I forgot. It's good that you can always come to the rescue, Bubble. Thank you. This sounded as sarcastic as possible, but let's not focus on this. By the way, we went through another floor and again did not receive any item. This is starting to really annoy me. Maybe they'll give us some new prize on the next floor. Now we will find out this together. Oh no, look, we need to run forward before this red wall starts moving. Otherwise it will kill us. Okay, we still have a few seconds left. We need to go as far as possible. I've been watching Jax play the game for several days now, and sometimes it seems to me that he was simply born to play Roblox. He is so skilled at passing all tests on the first try. Sometimes I even begin to suspect him of using cheats. You don't know what these fingers are really capable of. Oh, I mean, I can't say that here, but someday I'll tell you this in person. One more such joke and you will go to live in the nest of the Gloink Queen. And it seems to me that you won't really like it there. Therefore, next time before you say something without thinking, be sure to think several times. Is it worth your punishment? Guys, tell me, is he always such a bore? Or is he acting like this now just because we are here? I hope you don't have to put up with him like this all the time. Let's take a break from this topic. And by the way, we were the first to pass this test. We managed to do it. It's pretty easy. Now let's go into the elevator and find out what test will be next. I'm already very interested. There are so many new challenges here and wow. Look, it's some kind of chessboard. It looks like now we will compete with these guys in something. The squares under our feet disappear. This means that we need to run and not stop. It looks like the one who doesn't fall down will win here. And I think it definitely has to be me. I hope that your self-confidence will not prevent you from passing this level and defeating all these guys. Just concentrate on the fact that you need to run and don't stop. You also need to watch the field in front of you, otherwise you may accidentally fall down. Don't worry, Princess. I've almost won. Just a little left. Look, we won, and we got the achievement again. Lord, why haven't we received any item again? I want to add to my collection of items in my inventory. Jax, you have become suspiciously kind. I wonder if you only communicate this way with the Princess, or have you become kinder to all of us? Maybe you should just shut up and stop being so picky. It seems to me that I absolutely do not need your advice. Jack, stop! Stop being so rude! I really liked the only thing you talked to everyone before. Okay, Princess, please excuse me, I just got a little excited. Well, let's continue to play through this game and now we'll get to the next floor. 
Wow. Looks like something really weird is going on with Jax. Guys, write in the comments. What do you think about this? But it seems to me that Jax fell in love with someone. Oh my god, just shut up. You are talking nonsense. It seems to me that you should watch the game and not how I talk to someone. By the way, we are now in some very funny level with dogs. Look, there are a lot of meme pictures of dogs here. I like this level, it's pretty cute. It seems that today some strange nonsense is happening to all the participants in the amazing digital circus. Maybe we caught some kind of virus or something, but I hope that we all just became a little kinder. We are now going to ride on a cart with a photo of a dog across a field in the form of many dogs. Okay, this looks weird and sounds weird, but it's pretty funny. It would be cool if at the end of this challenge they gave us some kind of dog figurine or something like that because we really stopped getting items in our inventory. Yes, this pisses me off too. I remember how in one of the games they gave us a cat and a dog on a leash that we walked and it was really very cool. By the way, we passed this floor and now let's go to the next floor. Wait, what? What's going on here? I think we should resist this force that attracts us. Us, 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 Oh, I think this game has some problems with optimization, and we are starting to freeze. Okay, I hope this doesn't happen again, and let's go to the next floor. I wonder what awaits us there. Okay, looks like some kind of children's playground. There are slides and swings. Wow, just look. We can slide down these slides. I don't think this is what we were looking for, but it looks pretty fun. I think we can stay here for a long time. Maybe we should try using a swing or something like that? Let's go down the hill again. Why are we sitting and not going anywhere? She doesn't want to come down? Seriously? Um, looks like we broke this mechanic and now we can't use the slides. This means that there is nothing more interesting for us in this location. Let's now move on to the next floor. Okay, here's the next floor. Let's see what's here. We have already seen such floors and therefore we need to run to those eggs to get them into our inventory. Um, what? Where did they go? There are some buttons here with which we can spawn. Um, what, 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 what's going on? Why are there so many of them? Maybe we should stop, 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 stop pressing these buttons? This reminds me a lot of the situation from our new episode when we managed to clone the bandit's truck. Why do you say we? If that time you decided to stay, 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 stay in the circus and did not go with us on this adventure. Actually, you weren't with us that time either. Okay. I think there are too many glitches on this map. Let's quickly go to the next floor. It looks like some kind of house. Um, what? What it is? It seems to me that all these trailers got bugged from the last map and stayed here. They move quite strangely. There are too many inexplicable things happening in this game, and it seems to me that it is some kind of buggy chaos. I wonder if we can even get into this house. There's a door there. But it seems to me that nothing is working out for this guy. But the interior inside this house is quite attractive. Maybe there is another additional entrance near this house? He can't just be here without being able to get inside. Apparently this is exactly the case. Well, I suggest not staying on this floor for long and going to the next floor. Let's see what awaits us on the next floor. Um, seriously? Is it just a skeleton with a sword that killed us as soon as we got out of the elevator? Okay, I think it's worth trying to get into this elevator again. What happened to the timer? Er, 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 er. Time has started to go backwards. What's going on here anyway? I don't think we should continue to stay here. Okay, this elevator looks pretty interesting too. Let's quickly go down there and see what awaits us there. It looks like some kind of house in the middle of the forest with coins scattered around it. Wait, what? Is it just me or is there some scary red guy running after the other players with a hammer in his hands? I think that while he is distracted by other players, we should collect as many coins as possible. I wonder what we can buy with these coins. It seems to me that as soon as we get back into the elevator, it's worth seeing what's in the store that we can buy for this currency. It would be great if we could buy here for various skins or boosts with which we could run or jump faster. I'm very interested in why this guy only runs after them, but has never come in our direction. Okay, we're done with this floor, and let's move on to the next one. It looks like on every floor. Here we will have to run around locations to collect coins and avoid enemies who want to kill us. Look! This guy has a Freddy Bear skin. Okay, so far I don't see anyone dangerous here. Let's just keep collecting these coins. This location looks pretty weird. Here everyone just runs around and collects coins. Oh look! This is the Siren Head, and it looks like now he will run after us. It looks like he is running after one of the other players. Okay, this means that we have time to collect all the coins that are here. 
I really hope that if he catches us, we won't lose all the coins that we collected because we've been doing this for a really long time. By the way, we forgot to look at what we could spend all the coins we collected on. Let's find out now. We can actually buy various boosts and skins here. Let's try to turn into this. Um, is this really Sonic? Okay, he looks not what he should look like. Basically, it really looks like a free skin. I think we need to collect more coins to try to turn into someone else. But this guy really looks very goofy. This location looks like some kind of prison or something like that. I don't see any new characters here yet. Oh no, look! It's a siren cop running after us. We need to hide from him somewhere here. Seriously, did he jump after us from the second floor? It looks like this guy really runs faster than us and we need to be a little more careful. So let's constantly jump from the second floor to the first, so that he has to spend more time to catch up with us. Looks like he's already caught someone. Need to escape from him. Oh no, looks like he caught us too. Okay, now we know that this guy runs faster than all the other monsters. I think we didn't choose the best skin for running fast because this Mr. Fiddles looks very pot-bellied and moves really slowly. I don't see a cop siren here yet, so let's just explore this floor and collect all the coins that are here. There is some kind of door. Let's try to go through this very door. Oh, it looks like we did it just in time because Siren Cop was running right behind us and we were able to escape from him using this door. Okay, we're back in the elevator and now let's go to the next floor. It looks like some kind of winter location. Just look at how everything looks here. It really looks like Santa Claus's house. It looks like there is some kind of monster there that shoots blue rays. Okay, let's do what is usual for us. Namely, continue collecting coins. It's a pity that all the doors in this location are closed and we can't get into any house. It would be great if we could do this and find some coins in there. Well, okay. Maybe we should try changing our skin to some other one. I think we should choose the Freddy Bear skin. Maybe it will turn out to be quite scary for this monster. Oh, it looks like he hit us with his laser, but we still have some HP left. So, we have the opportunity to continue collecting coins until he catches up with us. It looks like this monster managed to kill all the other players and we were left alone on this floor! Okay, I think we can survive here because I already understand how we need to dodge these lasers. In fact, this is not as difficult as it might seem because every time this guy is preparing to shoot at us with a laser, we see the direction in which he will shoot us. Okay, looks like we were able to survive, and now let's go to the next floor. Cat and dog on a rope? Hmm, I wonder what we can do with them. I can spin them around me. It's probably very good that they are not alive. Um, seriously? Snoop Dogg? Hello everyone, friends. Today we will play the amazing Digital Circus Elevator. I really hope that the floors in this game will be a little different from the floors in the elevator we played in before. There's only one way to find out. Let's go inside. There are a lot of guys here whose skins are similar to us. At least I see me and Jax here. Now we will be on the first floor. I just can't wait to find out what awaits us there. This is a huge location with guns, but what should we do with them? These guns have buttons with which we can adjust the direction of their shots. It seems to me that we need to shoot so that the shells hit these rings. Jack, so far you haven't managed to hit even once. Aim better. We must earn the most points. Guys, it's not as easy as you think. Great! I got into the biggest ring. Well, I need to get into the rest. I really hope that I can score the most points. I really hope that we will be given some kind of reward that will really be worth our efforts. Let's not think about rewards for now. We'd rather encourage Jax to hit his targets. Great, another plus six points. I think we should definitely win this competition. We need to get into the last ring. Come on, Jax. Concentrate as much as possible on this. I think you can do it. I think we had great aim. It's time to take the shot. Come on, Jax. I think it will be better this way. We shot well and earned another point. I wonder if they will give us anything for this. We have a trophy, a cat, and a dog in our inventory. Wait, what? Is this really our reward? Cat and dog on a rope? Hmm, I wonder what we can do with them. They hang out so funny. I really hope they don't poop in this elevator. Look, I can spin them around me. It's probably very good that they are not alive. Otherwise, I would be very sorry for these little animals. This, of course, looks very cruel, but it is as funny as possible. Just look at how he spins them. Here comes the next floor. This is some kind of huge white location. I see some objects in the distance. These are eggs, but it looks like we won't have time to pick them up. Well, we have something cooler than eggs. It's a dog on a rope. I think this is the best reward you could ever get in this game. Just look. We're really walking the dog through some kind of white void. Okay, we didn't get anything on this floor, but I hope that the next floor will be more successful for us. Let's get to it.
It looks like some kind of huge labyrinth. Well, we have a dog that should smell the way out of here. Actually, in this location, we decided to walk the cat. Oh, just look. This is some kind of emptiness. Oh, no. We fell. But our cat is holding us. It turns out that these animals are very useful. Oh, no. We fell. Damn, are we really going to lose all our loot now? The cat is no longer in our inventory, but I hope that they won't take everything from us. Oh, no. It looks like we're starting from the very beginning. Well, let's choose my skin. It's a shame that everything we had was taken away from us. I didn't have time to enjoy these animals. Looks like we can still get through this labyrinth. I really hope that we can earn some cool reward for completing it. Let's really try to go all the way through it. Jax, I think you went to the wrong place in the first place. We already turned here and there was no right exit. Let's go back to the very beginning and try to find the right way. I'm already starting to get confused in these walls. It seems to me that we don't have enough time to go through it completely. Let's explore it before we are teleported into the elevator. Okay, we're in the elevator again. I can say that in this game, the challenges are much more interesting than in the elevators we played before. At least we still haven't seen a single repeat. Okay, we have arrived to the next floor. Let's see what awaits us here. Um, seriously? Snoop Dogg? Are you kidding me now? It's just Snoop Dogg dancing. Okay, this floor was quite short. I expected to see anything except Snoop Dogg. Well, even though the floor was so short, it was still very funny. And here is the next floor. Let's see what awaits us here. Oh, I remember this location from other games about endless elevators. Here we need to make sure that we can catch the glowing duck. Okay, I need to keep an eye on all the falling ducks. I really want to get that glowing duck. And here she is? Cool. We now have a new item in inventory. Let's check how it squeaks! Cool! It's very funny that she also sets the sounds. Great! Besides us, someone else also received a glowing duck! Now we are not alone. Maybe we can catch a second one? No, this floor is already over. This is certainly not a dog or a cat on a leash, but it still looks very funny. I hope we can find some more cool loot here. I hope the next floor will be interesting too. Look! This is a challenge from the Squid Game. Here you need to choose the right platforms that will not fall down. Cool! You need to remember the tactics from the series and not go first. But it seems to me that we don't have enough time because we haven't moved far enough yet, and there are still a lot of platforms ahead. We need to wait for someone to come forward. Look, this guy guessed the platform, but he didn't have much luck with the next platform. Well, we have moved a little forward, but no one is in a hurry to go further. I think we need to do this first. Luckily, we didn't die and we respawned in the elevator. Now we can return to the progress where we stopped, but unfortunately our teammates are not going to move forward and they continue to stand in one place. Well, it seems to me that we are the only ones who can move forward. We always have bad luck with these platforms. We only have eight seconds left, and unfortunately, we definitely won't have time to complete this game to the end. Okay, this time we didn't succeed, but I know for sure that next time we need not to be afraid and just go forward. And here's the next floor. Let's go there. Cool! This is similar to the test with an energy drink as it was in Barry's prison break. Here we are also very much accelerated and we run forward and so far Jax is the first to run. We even overtook a girl who moves here using a flying carpet. Oh no! These are lasers! Damn, we stepped on one of them and now we have to start from the beginning. I hope that we can still complete this race. Unfortunately, this time I'll be the first to arrive. It's a shame because I really wanted to beat everyone and reach the finish line first. I hope Jaxa manages to pass this at least on the second try. The main thing is not to rush too much on the lasers and go through them as carefully as possible. Cool. He managed to pass it, but unfortunately we were not given any reward for it. Maybe because there was a bug and we weren't in the finishing location long enough. I wonder what awaits us in the next location. Let's take a look at this. Wait, what? Are Skibidi toilets fighting here? It's very similar to the Skibidi Towers defense game, but unfortunately we can't go inside and help them. One of the Skibidi toilets wants to come into our elevator, but he can't do anything. I feel really bad for this guy because I would like to save him so he can continue his adventure with us. But unfortunately, we cannot do this. Well, it was also a very funny location because I really love playing Skibidi Tower Defense. Let's see what awaits us on the next floor. I'm waiting for these doors to open and... I know this location. This is an obby in which the water level constantly rises. I remember that once we managed to pass it. I hope Jax remembers how to do it right, and this time he will also succeed. 
So far, he's doing pretty well. These platforms are so tiny. Oh no, he fell down. This was the really hard part of this challenge. We already have half our health left, even less. I hope Jack speeds up a little and can go further. The water is coming up too fast. It seems to me that we have very little chance, but this is not a reason to give up. Come on, Jax, continue. You will succeed. Oh my God, I can't look at it. It seems like the water is coming up very quickly. It's very hard to get through. Come on, Jax, do not stop. Oh no, we fell down. It was a pretty hard level, but this time we couldn't cope with it. Let's move on to the next floor. Oh my god, not this! He caught us! Looks like someone got toothpaste all over this hallway. Um, seriously? Is this really a false anglerfish jaw that is jumping along the corridor behind us? Looks like this guy failed this test. To find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, three, two, one. <laughs> There's a puking pomni here today! Hello everyone, friends. Today we'll be running away from Bob the Dentist. His speech seems to me to be as unintelligible as possible. Can anyone explain to me how I can understand it without reading the subtitles? It seems to me that our character's speech is also not particularly intelligible. The main thing is that we realize that they want to remove the tooth, and we really don't want it. Looks like the dentist is starting to leave here to get his instrument. At this time we need to escape from here. Let's do that! Use this key to open the door and get out of here. Let's see what challenges lie ahead of us. Looks like someone got toothpaste all over this hallway. The main thing is not to step on it as well as on these and false jaws. These things looked a lot like Kane's head. Okay, let's knock on that door. Maybe they will open a passage for us further. It looks like now we need to overcome this pit of water by wading through this dental floss. I think in real life this would be impossible. Spikes? Seriously? Why are there spikes in a dental clinic anyway? It seems to me that these are the most illogical attributes. In fact, it is very important to monitor the health of your teeth. Otherwise, you may be left without them. And unfortunately, it is very expensive to treat them. We passed these traps and now we are entering this corridor. It says here that we need to be careful and not get caught by the pet. Pet? Maybe this dentist has a dog. Um, seriously? Is this really a false anglerfish jaw that is jumping along the corridor behind us? It doesn't look scary at all. Rather, it looks strange. The main thing is that we found a way out of here and now let's escape through this ventilation from this strange pet. There are some huge fans here that we need to pass by. This room looks pretty creepy. I hope we can pass this test the first time. Oh no! I think we accidentally hit one of the fan blades. Okay, that was the first death in this game. I think there is nothing wrong with that. Let's try it on the second try. Cool. We managed to do it on the second try. Now let's walk across these platforms and head towards the stairs. It looks like this is an unusual staircase. Just look, there are some frames with lasers on it. Looks like this guy failed this test. He was too careless and it ruined him. But we know that we need to stop in front of every frame with lasers. Thanks to this, we can pass this test. The main thing is not to rush and then everything will definitely work out. Great! We passed this test. Now we need to jump over these strange black platforms. I don't understand at all why they added it to this game. Perhaps this is also some kind of dentist's tool. But since we are not dentists, we will never know what it is for. Great! Now we need to go through this door and take the elevator upstairs. This elevator looks extremely unsafe. There is no fence around it. It seems to me that going up on such an elevator is extremely dangerous because you can accidentally fall down from a great height. But we successfully went up and did not fall from this elevator. Now we need to jump on these platforms to avoid falling into the lava. Stop, wait, where is lava in the dental clinic from? I think you're trying to find logic in Roblox again. Have you forgotten what game we're playing? By the way, now we'll get into some kind of trolley and ride along the rails. This is also very strange for a dental clinic, but I'm not even surprised by this anymore. Okay, I see the end of this rail track. I wonder what awaits us next. Let's get a look. It looks like there is some kind of corridor that looks like a corridor in a castle. Just look! Here on the sides, there are statues with knights with toothbrushes. Are you sure these are toothbrushes? It seems to me that these are brushes for elephant teeth. Okay, now we need... Are you serious? How did you manage to step on this platform? In fact, this test looks quite difficult due to the fact that the distance between these platforms is extremely small. There is also no need to rush here to pass this test. And now we need to get across this abyss using this bridge. 
Of course, I understand that there is absolutely no logic in Roblox, but why is there a dungeon for a dental clinic? I actually don't know the correct answer to this question, but I do know that this task is very similar to the task in Barry's Prison Escape, where we ran along the platforms after drinking an energy drink. This challenge looks much more difficult because there are also obstacles on the platforms themselves. But unfortunately, this test was very short, and now we are heading to the next room. Looks like we need to find a way to open this gate. I think there must be buttons or something somewhere. Great! There are levers here, and it looks like there is more than one lever. We need to press all the levers in this room to open this gate. It looks like this was the last lever, and let's go to the gate. Oh my god, they go down very slowly. It looks like the developers were trying to create an epic effect, but in reality, they are just wasting our time. Okay, we're finally through this. Look, it's Bob the Dentist. It looks like he figured out which way we are trying to escape, and now he wants to stop us to remove our tooth. I won't let this guy do this. Let's quickly try to escape from him. Huge teeth appear on our way that prevent us from running. It looks like he's about to catch up with us. He is already very close to us. I'm really scared. Oh my god, not this! He caught us! Let's try this task again! Okay, I hope we can pass this test on the second try. It's a shame that this game doesn't have a running speed button, so we would definitely be able to escape from him very quickly. Yes, it would be very cool if we could press the shift button and just run forward so that he doesn't catch up with us. Oh, it looks like we beat this game! Just look! This is our giant statue! This game turned out to be quite short, but it was a little difficult because it had really difficult challenges. I'm very glad that we were able to pass it. Let's now move on to the next game. Oh no, Papa Cop's huge head is running after us. There are still some coins here. I wonder what we can buy for them. There are four bolts here. Oh my god, no, not this. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will escape from the Big Head prison again. But this time it's a horror prison in which we need to look for keys and various objects. Okay, we found some kind of yellow key. Oh no, Papa Cop's huge head is running after us. Now we need to look for where we can use this yellow key. Most likely, we need to look for a door with a yellow lock. Look, and here she is. We need to quickly run into it before the cop catches up with us. Great! We found ourselves in some large room with prison cells. Let's see what we can find here. There's some kind of blue gear glowing there. Let's take her and explore this room further. It looks like some kind of screwdriver. Great! We now have another tool. I think now we need to find where we can use it. There are still some coins here. I wonder what we can buy for them. Okay, looks like we found everything we can in this location. Now let's get out of here and find somewhere we can use this screwdriver. It's very scary to move along these corridors. There is always a feeling that Cop's big head will appear around the corner. Look! Some kind of light! Oh no! Looks like Dad's a cop! I need to get away from him as quickly as possible! I wonder if there are any other cops here besides him! I hope no! Otherwise it will be simply impossible to move along this corridor! Oh look! Another blue glow and this is another gear! Looks like we need to find all 15 gears to beat this game! Okay, let's be as careful as possible and look for gears in this game! It's good that there is a safe room here in which the cop will definitely not be able to reach us due to the fact that he is huge! We picked up the fourth gear out of 15. Let's look for the rest. It seems to me that the rest of the gears must be somewhere nearby. I see blue lighting and it looks like there is something on the right that we can open with a screwdriver. There are four bolts here. Oh my god. No, not this. He almost caught up with us. I was very scared. He appeared most unexpectedly. Quicker, we need to escape from him to a safe room before he catches up with us. It looks like he won't be able to catch us in this prison cell. Well, okay, let's now go back to that grill and try to open it completely. But now we know for sure that not one big head will hunt us, but at least two. Great! We picked up the red key. Now we have two of the three keys. We need to find where we can use the red key. Most likely it should be some kind of red door. It looks like this guy won't let us just get out of here. Okay, let's just wait until he goes to another part of this location so we can escape from here. He's in no hurry to leave. Looks like he really wants to catch us. Well, you just need to wait for the right moment. It looks like the right moment has come right now. This big green head is far enough away. And now we need to run out of here and get to where we can use the red key. I noticed that in the upper left corner we have three lives. It seems that if we are caught all three times, our progress will be reset and we will have to look for all these items again. This encourages you not to get caught by these cops at all. 
In the three minutes we've been playing this game, we've only found five out of 15 gears. I think this will be quite difficult, but this is very interesting because such gameplay is very rare in games. This huge daddy cop head is constantly following us. Because of this, it is very difficult for us to get out of the safe area in order to continue exploring the location. We still couldn't find the red door. I hope she is somewhere nearby. Oh, I think I see the blue glow again. Great! This is another gear. It looks like we haven't been to this part of the prison yet because there are a lot of coins here. Look, there's an icon with a hammer. This means that we can find another tool with which we can break down this door. Okay, now we know that there is another tool here. Well, let's pick up all these coins and move on. I see some light on the left again. Oh no, this is another head and it's the head of a cop's mom. Okay, now we know that there will be three different big heads chasing us here. It looks like each big head is patrolling a different area. Look, meanwhile, we have already collected 8 out of 15 gears. This is very cool. It looks like three different keys are needed here. Red, yellow, and blue. But unfortunately, we only have two so far. Okay, let's try to explore the location to find the blue key. There are a lot of items to find here. There are coins, gears, and various other items. Great! We finally found the room with the red key, and here again, the test with the stairs. By the way, this was already the ninth gear. Well, let's put this ladder right under the ventilation and go upstairs. I wonder where this ventilation will lead us. This ventilation is very long. I hope that some huge head won't jump out at us from around the corner and scare us. Another long vent! It looks like we'll have to walk along it for a very long time. But no, looks like there's a descent here. Okay, we found ourselves in some room, and it looks like this is the guard's room. There's some code on the wall. Perhaps this is the code for the safe. Let's try to enter it into this combination lock. Great, we got the hammer. Now with the help of this hammer, we must break this wall and escape from here. Okay, we have all three keys, and now we need to find this hatch in which there were three locks. Looks like this cop mom wasn't bothered at all by the fact that we broke down the wall in her jail. Okay, maybe she just didn't get enough sleep and didn't notice it. Let's find this hatch now. One more gear. And we have already found 10 gears out of 15. Only five left to find. I wonder if the game will end at the moment when we find all five gears. In fact, it's quite strange that we're looking for gears in prison. Why are these gears and not some notes or something like that? Okay, I guess this is not the most important detail right now. The main thing is to return to that hatch, but unfortunately I don't remember where it is. It seems to me that first we need to find a door with a red lock, and the hatch will be somewhere not far from it. I'm sure of that. Great! The door's here, and that means the hatch is somewhere nearby. Okay, here he is. I think we can open it and jump down. This hatch looks extremely unsafe. I wouldn't jump down in real life. Okay. We find ourselves in a prison cell where we can open the lock with a screwdriver. But there's a huge cop sitting here. We need to run past him so that he doesn't catch up with us. It looks like we ended up in some kind of separate prison that was one level lower than the previous one. Okay, I hope that with this we can find a way out of here. All other prison cells are closed here. There is only a huge prison labyrinth. Well, I think we need to explore it all so that we can definitely get out of this prison as soon as possible. I'm very interested in where we can still find a way out. This huge cop head keeps chasing us. By the way, did you notice that he does this with a very funny sound? Yes. This sound reminds me of a dinosaur running on a treadmill. Well, it seems to me that we managed to deceive him, and now let's find the next one of these coins. I think they are leading to the exit. And it looks like we're about to end up in some kind of cafeteria. Great! Look, there are arrows on the floor that show us where to go. Most likely they are pointing us straight to the exit. Okay, let's follow where they tell us. I hope that this is not a trap, and that they will actually lead us to the exit. Now we need to climb up these boxes and open the ventilation grill. Okay, it's not for nothing that we took this screwdriver with us. I think there are too many bars in this ventilation. Great! We got to another location and here is this ropeway. Let's use it to bridge this giant chasm. Cool! There really are a lot of obstacles in this game. I really like the variety of stages in this game. Now we have to go through all these thin pipes. You have to be very careful because they are really very thin. It is really very difficult to jump on them because every time you are afraid that it will break or you will accidentally slip off it. Okay, now we're in a room with circular saws moving around. 
It seems to me that here you also need to be very careful and choose the right moment to go through them. This test doesn't look difficult, but I think it's better to go through it as carefully as possible because we don't want to end up at spawn again. We've been working on it for a very long time to get here. I see some strange glow from this hatch. Are we really going to get out now and escape from this prison? It looks like we really escaped from this prison. Cool! We beat this game to one of four endings. It turns out here you can beat this game in several ways. It's great. I really like this game, and if you liked it too, write about it in the comments and we will try to get to another ending. Look, these things actually levitate in the air. I wouldn't want Kane to pee his pants out of fear again. This clown is so stupid that he couldn't sit in the same booth with us. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play this very creepy carnival again. It turns out that last time we didn't completely complete this game, we missed several levels. This time we know how to get through it, but I'm still wondering what kind of secret levels await us. How could we even miss several levels? It seems to me that this is impossible. Our viewers wrote to us that these levels should have been after we entered the clown's mouth. But for some reason, they weren't there. It's really quite strange. Oh, look, it's the red ball again. Lead us, buddy. Well, it burst again. This was to be expected. Damn, last time I didn't even notice there was a giant ugly mouth down there. How is it even possible that we are jumping on balls? Do we weigh two grams? That's right, I forgot. This is Roblox. There's no logic here. Just look, there's fire coming out of these holes in the wall. I have never seen this in boiler rooms. Yes, it seems to me that this should work somehow a little differently. Well, okay, we got through them. Now let's run through these pipes! It's good that this game has a lot of saves. I really don't like obbies that don't have a Tower of Hell save type. It seems impossible for me to pass the Tower of Hell. Actually possible! I saw a video on YouTube of a guy going all the way through the Tower of Hell, but I wouldn't want to play it, because if I died at least 20 times in this game, I would get angry and break the computer. Have you seen those strange grabbing hands? It seems to me that this does not happen at all in ordinary boiler rooms. Okay. The most important thing is that we went through them. Now we need to jump through these pipes. I'm very interested in what the real purpose of these pipes is. It's very strange if they really wanted to make a ladder out of them and made it so unsafe. It seems to me that this spiral staircase made of pipes is endless. Why is she so tall? Why didn't they put an elevator here? These pipes will be a fairly easy test. We'll get through it pretty quickly. Yes, this pipe is quite tortuous. The main thing is not to rush and go through it carefully, otherwise we may accidentally fall off and fall down. These pipes are quite thin for this job. Yes, but this really adds complexity to the game. It's much more fun than going through Barry prison escape several times in a row. Oh, just look, circular saws. What are they even doing here? It's a carnival. Have you guys forgotten that we also work in the circus and all sorts of strange things we don't have? It seems to me that if you try, you can also find circular saws somewhere here. I think Kane tried on this. Oh look! It's the guy with the balloons! He talks about hearing a clown laugh, but I don't hear anything! Just look at this clown! Oh my god, how creepy he is! He's trying to catch up and kill us! We urgently need to jump into this Ferris wheel! We really managed to break away from him. Well, we really chose the best route of all possible. Okay, now let's go up on this Ferris wheel. I really want to see the view that opens from it. This clown is so stupid that he couldn't sit in the same booth with us. That's great! I hope we don't see him again. Great! We jumped onto some platform. Just look, this bridge is very thin. We need to walk on it very carefully, otherwise we may fall down. It's good that there was a checkpoint on this platform. Let's walk as carefully as possible. I really wouldn't want to fall down now. He says we need to get on this drop ride. I hope he's not deceiving us and we can really go down safely. This thing really doesn't look safe. Oh my god, where did she take us down? What is this lava? This carnival is really weird. Okay, the main thing is that we went down. I hope this clown is not running after us now. I wouldn't want to run away from him by jumping on platforms. This dungeon is pretty creepy. Why did they even decide to do a job like this? It's weird to do stuff like that at the circus. Okay, let's move on. Are these huge falling knives? This looks really unsafe, and judging by the blood that is on these knives, someone is definitely out of luck. Huge swinging morning stars? This circus is really quite strange. Okay, the main thing is that we managed to pass them. I see the guy with the balloons again. What is this yellow portal? I think you're colorblind, Kingler. This portal is not yellow, but orange. Okay, let's go into it. This guy seems surprised that he's here. Now we need to cross this bridge. Who even makes bridges to jump on? Usually they are made in such a way that you can walk on them. Yes! 
We did it! Great! Bubble, I don't understand your indignation about bridges at all. You actually fly. Not only do you not need a bridge, you don't even need a path. You can go anywhere you want. Look, these things actually levitate in the air. It seems to me that this portal sent us to some other magical dimension. Maybe we shouldn't have listened to this guy. Another checkpoint! Great! There's some kind of ghastly portal waiting for us ahead. By the way, it is really yellow, unlike the past, which was orange. Well, let's go through this obby and find out where the yellow portal will lead us. Looks like it's going to be like the energy drink run in Barry's jailbreak. Cool! Now let's quickly run through this. Wow! We're running really fast! We have developed such great speed! I hope we don't fall while we're running so fast! These platforms are so curved! It seems to me that we don't even need to press the jump button to jump over these obstacles. Well, okay, we're past that. Now a blue portal awaits us. Let me guess, he'll give us a super jump? Well, of course. This portal made us jump very high. Otherwise, we simply would not have been able to climb up these platforms. They are located really high from each other. Just one jump left and we're at the top! Great! Yellow portal again? Cool. Now we'll be very fast again. What? Did we jump straight into a volcano? But where will we end up now? What kind of place is it? This guy with the balloons warns us that this place is very creepy. Well, I hope he's deceiving us. I wouldn't want Kane to pee his pants out of fear again. Look, this is one of those tasks that we missed. But how did that door teleport us right to the very end last time? To be honest, I can't even imagine how this could happen. It really looks like some kind of clown magic. This task was actually quite easy. Perhaps this clown just decided that we were too cool for such simple tasks. Traps on the floor? Who sets traps indoors anyway? I can't imagine how much of a noob you have to be to step into one of these traps. They are really gigantic. It's just hard not to notice them. Okay, we've passed it. Now we find ourselves again in the task that we have already completed. This task was indeed quite difficult. Well, I think we can handle it on the first try. Just look how quickly Kane goes through all this. It's as if he was born to play this game. Well, that was pretty easy. Let's see if the clown has another test in store for us that we haven't seen. I don't remember this task exactly, but it seems to me that this task will be more difficult than the previous ones. Well, let's go through it as quickly as possible. I hope this is the last secret mission from the clown. Are you moving like Michael Jackson? It really looks like a moonwalk. I think that really helped him get through that level. Well, let's just head for the door now and see what happens next. Pomni, have you forgotten? This is the end of the game. We've been here before. Okay, I thought these secret levels would be much more difficult. Guys, have you really forgotten? We are about to fall off it because it is not completed. I think you need to eat more carrots to strengthen your memory. Woohoo, wait! He is not completed! Oh no, we are now going to fall, not this! Are we dead? But no, it looks like we just got out of this circus. Great, this guy with the balloons showed us the right way. Well, we've done this game, and now it's time to move on to the next one. Bye-bye, loser. Try to run more carefully in the forest. Oh no, here he is! Wait, what? Did he really hit a tree? Oh no! It's Daddy's Pizza! He's running right after me! Hello, hello everyone, friends. Today we will run again from Papa's Pizza Pizzeria. But today I will play this game and Jax will watch! Kane really asked us to let him play this game because he is very afraid of creepy games and he wants to test himself in this game. I wouldn't call this game scary. It is quite complex and has a creepy atmosphere, but there are very few jump scares here. It seems to me that the creepy atmosphere of this game alone is enough for Kane's hands to start shaking with fear. I think it's too early for us to draw conclusions about this. Let's see how it passes the test. So far, he manages to do it pretty quickly. He got to the trap test as quickly as Jax did. Well, it seems to me that Kane is also quite skilled. We need to see how he copes with the test where he has to escape from Daddy Pizza for the first time. We've reached it. Okay, Kane, don't forget that you need to follow this pizza path. But at this moment, I became really scared. Oh no, it's Daddy's Pizza. He's running right after me. I need to quickly jump into the sewer hole. Looks like he managed to do it on the first try. Yes, that is right. I didn't expect Kane to be able to do it on the first try. Buddy, be honest. Did you train before playing this game with us? You may not believe me, but now I'm actually going through this game for the first time, and I will be very surprised if I actually manage to pass all the tests here on the first try. Now we have to go through one of the most difficult tests in this game. Oh, hi, buddy. Well, let's go into the corridor with the cobwebs. I remember that last time Jax tried to complete this task many times. He couldn't do it on the first try. Wait, what? Did Kane really just beat this game on his first try? 
I can't believe my eyes. I'm starting to refuse that now someone is going through this game instead of him. Or we are watching a recording of how someone else is going through it. Maybe he actually uses cheats or something like that to pass all the tests? Buddy, maybe we should check how you do it. Can you shut up and not distract me from playing this game? I really try hard to pass all these tests on the first try. Why do not you believe me? I'm not as noob at passing Obby as you think. Okay, actually, watching him go through that spiral ladder test, I realize that Kane is actually playing this game now because he stops before every jump. Okay, I just really still can't believe that he can actually play as well as Jax. Maybe we should now record how Kane goes through the games. Guys, write in the comments the gameplay of which character do you like better, Kane or Jax? We will see which comments there will be more, and choose who will play the games next. I hope you wrote a comment. Now we need to escape from Papa Pizza. Kane made it very easy again. I don't understand how he manages to go through it all so quickly. It seems to me that if I played instead of him, I would be stupid for a very long time. Guys, don't rush to conclusions. There are still a lot of difficult tests ahead, and let's just watch how he goes through this game. In fact... It seems to me that he will complete this game even faster than Jax. Okay, we're in a room with skeletons. Now the main thing is not to touch any of the skeletons, otherwise Kane may lose. And he also completed this task on the first try. I'm really starting to get nervous because it seems to me that he can really break my record. Okay, now we have a long climb up this elevator and then we'll see how Kane will cope with the rest of the challenges in this game. The tasks that will be ahead are even more difficult than those we completed before. I remember Jax going through them and he couldn't do it on the first try. Uh, well, I hope I can pass them. This elevator ride really seems to take forever. Are we that deep underground? Okay, I think we've arrived at the top and now we need to pass this test with spikes. But this test is really very difficult. Let's see how Kane handles him. The main thing is to be very careful. Oh no, he couldn't do it. Well, okay, it's just one death. Let's see how long it takes him to complete this test. I remember this test, and Jax really couldn't pass it on the first try. Therefore, in principle, there is nothing wrong with Kane dying here several times already. This task is really very difficult. The main thing is to be as concentrated as possible. Okay, I think he's died enough times that this should definitely be a lucky shot. This is a very cool tactic to pass this test using a side view, because this way he will be able to see how close he is to the spikes. Great! He coped with this task. And now we need to come to the test with pipes and conveyor belts. It is also quite complex, and the main thing here is to be very careful. Seriously? We were just knocked down by one of the body parts while we were jumping. This is really bad luck. But I think that on the second try, Kane will definitely cope with this test. Guys, I'm extremely concentrated, and I really want to complete this game faster than Jax. It seems to me that I will no longer be able to do this because I have already died several times. Well, now let's get into this rusty weird thing and go to the basement again. There are only a few challenges left until the end of the game. I'm very interested to see how Kane copes with the final building, where we have to run away from Pizza Daddy through the dark forest because Jax has never been able to pass this task on the first try. Okay, we're down there, and now we need to get past this obby over the lava. I remember that there is a test in which we will have to climb tiny platforms along the wall. This task is really very exciting. Seeing how Kane masterfully copes with all the other tests, I think that the final test will not cause any difficulties for him. Here come the missions with tiny platforms. Kane, concentrate as much as possible before the jump, because it is really very difficult to perform. Oh no, Kane fell into lava. Okay, well this task is really very difficult. I think that the second time he will pass it completely. Just a few jumps left! Come on, buddy, I'm sure you can do it! Cool! Well, let's now head to the exit of this building. Okay, now the most difficult test in this game awaits us. I really hope Kane can really handle him. The main thing is to start going through this forest in the middle, otherwise Daddy Pizza will get us. Okay, let's see how Kane handles this. Okay, it's getting dark around here, just run forward. I hear it! I think he's somewhere nearby. My hands start shaking. Oh no, here he is. He's running right after me. Wait, what? Did he really hit a tree? Seriously? Oh my god. Kane, it seems to me that you really are the luckiest player in this game. He really didn't catch up with you only because he crashed into a tree. Bye bye, loser. Try to run more carefully in the forest. Otherwise, you will crash into some tree again. Well, we finally beat this game. This took a little longer than Jax, but I'm very surprised that Kane did it so quickly. Now let's move on to the next game.